Why is one kind of racism OK, but others aren't? I'm massively concerned about the undercurrent of anti-Semitism in this country, and I'm concerned that the police don't seem to take it quite as seriously as other forms of racism. We sat through a day of testimony from former Yorkshire cricketer Azim Rafiq, where there was a lot of anecdotal and unsubstantiated allegations of racism that have led to the complete tarnishing of various people's reputations and the destruction of their careers. This is not a comment on whether or not I believe Azim Rafiq, I've got no reason not to. But it's a question about why we take one form of racism, Islamophobia, more seriously than we take anti-Semitism. Take a look at this video that's coming up right now. It's filmed in London, I believe, and that appears to show a group of men spitting at, swearing at and intimidating a bus full of Jewish children. Bear in mind that it's Hanukkah as well. Just watch this. <laughs> Isn't it? It's absolutely sickening. You look at those thugs essentially there shouting at a bus full of Jewish children. Can you imagine what would happen if that was the other way around? But it's not an isolated incident, not by a long chalk. A car full of men waving Palestinian flags drove through St John's Wood shouting at Jews, saying things like they want to kill their mothers and rape their daughters. The Israeli ambassador was hounded out of the London School of Economics by an enraged gang of pro-Palestinian demonstrators. This summer saw a record number of anti-Semitic incidents recorded in the UK. From the 8th of May to the 7th of June, 460 incidents were reported to the Community Security Trust. That's the highest monthly total since records began in 1984. With 316 happening offline and 144 online, the previous record was 317 in July 2014, which coincided with the last major eruption of violence between Israel and the Palestinians as part of that decades-long conflict. In the month before the 8th of May, 119 anti-Semitic incidents were reported to the CST. And arguably, nothing articulates my point that I think one type of racism is taken more seriously than another like a video of a mob of pro-Palestine thugs walking through London shouting, we'll find some Jews, we want the Zionists, we want their blood. It appeared in that video anyway that the police officers next to them just did nothing. There was a certain former leader of the Labour Party who, and I think I'm being very generous here, appeared to not quite grasp the seriousness of anti-Semitism or perhaps even understand exactly what it is. Jews in this country must be looking around and wondering what's going on. They could be forgiven for being terrified. It looks as though there are rising numbers of anti-Semites here, a police force that potentially doesn't seem to take anti-Semitism quite as seriously as it could. And of course, on top of that as well, potentially a major political party that simply didn't get the state of the problem. Why do Jewish primary schools have permanent security guards outside them? Did your primary school have that? Mine didn't. Why do synagogues have permanent security? Does your church or your mosque or your temple what does that say? There have been numerous studies, surveys and academic reports published that appear to show a real problem with anti-Semitism amongst some elements of the British Muslim community. The Institute for Jewish Policy Research found that 27% of British Muslims in their study believe that Jews have too much power and 25% think they exploit the Holocaust for their own purposes. Dr. Akiba San, a research fellow at the Henry Jackson Society and a standout leading voice when it comes to integration, race and culture, summed it up best in one article that he wrote. Ethnic minority groups can be racist too. The issue is, confronting this growing problem doesn't suit the liberal woke narrative. We're right to highlight issues of Islamophobia, of course we are. We're right to highlight issues of racism against black people as well. But I'm worried that when Jews in this country are being racially abused, it all too often gets swept under the carpet because people can't get their heads around the idea that it's not just white people who can be racist.